Halo Indonesia, I'm Ujang Purnama, the representative students from Institute Teknologi Bandung for most outstanding student selection 2015. In this competition, I'd like to look forward my idea regarding food security improvement for Indonesia. Food security is a strategic issue for many countries, including Indonesia. It is reflected in the availability of food in a good quality, quantity, safe, diverse, nutritious, and equitable, so that people can live healthy, active, and productive. Most of Indonesian people consume rice as staple food. Well, there is nothing wrong with rice. Rice is a good energy resource due to its high carbohydrate content. What matters is when the rice consumption is beyond limitation. The statistic data 2014 shows that Indonesia consumes rice up to 139 kilograms per year. This makes Indonesia the first rank of rice consumers in the world. Sadly, the rice production in Indonesia is decreasing up to 1.98% per year. This makes the government has to import rice from other countries, which makes Indonesia far from sovereignty. The other problem arising is that rice is a risk factor for diabetes. This is because rice has a high glycemic index. That is why Indonesia ranked fourth for most diabetics in the world. Now the question is, why should we rely only on rice when we have a lot of other local food stuff such as corn, potato, maize, and tubers? But the data from Badan Ketahanan Pangan Nasional shows that most of Indonesian use that food as snacks. The government also encourages the people to eat staple food other than rice. One of the effort is called food diversification. An example of that is One Day No Rice or ODNR program conducted by the government of Depok and Bandung. But it is hard to change Indonesian paradigm when there is a say, if we're not eating rice, means that we're not eating at all. During my research, I saw one potential local food. Can you guess what? Yes, it is corn. At least there are four reasons why we choose corn as staple food. Reason number one, corn is high in fiber and low in sugar, so the risk factor for diabetes can be reduced. Reason number two, corn is easy to plant. It can be grown in a wet season and dry season, and it can be harvested in short term. Reason number three, corn is produced second biggest in Indonesia. And reason number four, corn price is still much cheaper than rice. But we need to afford so corn can be accepted by Indonesia. One of the solution is to change corn to become corn rice analog or I call it as jabalog. The people in Tamangku has already done the process to make corn as corn rice analog. But the process is still complicated, so the price of corn rice analog is still much higher than rice. The survey that I made shows that Indonesians like corn rice analog as much as they like rice. Now, we have a chance such as awareness of people for food diversification, people acceptance of corn rice analog, and resources that is willing to produce corn rice analog. The challenge is how we produce corn rice analog in a greater amount. In my idea, I propose two strategies. Those are bottom-up strategy and top-down strategy. Top-down strategy comes from government as a regulator. The government can make a regulation or policy such as one day no rice policy like I said before. Besides, the government can also act both in downstream and upstream process. In downstream process, the government can make a regulation such as no tax for farmers who want to plant corn. And also, the government can give or sell local seed in a cheaper price for the farmers. Upstream process is the process from harvesting corn until becoming corn rice analog. The government can act by putting production site for making corn rice analog in one place. Bottom up strategy is a strategy that comes from the people and encourages the farmers to plant corn rice analog and also producing corn rice analog. One of the attempts that can be done is by community development. Right now, I'm involving community development to produce corn rice analog in Garut. The other strategy is research and development done by university students and the lecturers to produce corn rice analog as tasty as possible and as efficient as possible. We can build a machines to produce corn rice analog in a short time. So the process such as peeling, drying, and boiling can be done in one machine. For example, in ITB, we have a faculty of machines 
the Faculty of Pharmacy and the Faculty of Life Sciences. We can collaborate each other to create these machines and to produce Conrise Analog as cheaper as possible. So Conrise Analog can be accepted by many people. This strategy can be supported by introducing Conrise Analog to the people in Indonesia through social media and also community making. And by all of this strategy, I believe that from Monday to Sunday, the 1st until the 30th of the month, we can eat different local food other than rice, starting from Jabalo.